<laughs> then you tie it here like this. We don't have padlocks. Ah. Nice. I just hand crafts. Yeah. Actually, this it is a hello 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 lovely people you are so welcome for today's video thank you very much for stopping here guys thank you thank you very much yeah uh, this is village and beyond in case it is your first time this is village and beyond thank you very much for joining thank you very much for stopping by here we explore village lifestyle yeah we explore village lifestyle and sometimes we go beyond the village and we see what is beyond the village so you are most welcome for today's video and if you've just joined village and beyond thank you very much for joining and i really appreciate those channel members channel members i'm really grateful to have you thank you thank you thank you so much yeah let's go into the video hi lovely people you are so welcome to the channel you are so welcome to village and beyond uh thank you very much for stopping here guys yeah this is much like the village girl you are so welcome to the channel thank you very much for stopping here guys i'm glad to have you here uh, guys i'm still in Eastern Uganda, right here. I'm standing on Mariam's house. We are going to have a tour to the house. Actually, guys, right here. This is a fence. This is a fence. Them. These are poros. We got them from trees. And you see how we do fencing here in the village. This is how we do fencing. Ah, hope it, it looks good. Yeah, this is how. We do it. Then the house here, the roofing. This is grass, so we got the grass from the bush. And these are forest. These are trees. They are natural. We get them from our garden. Yeah, this is how the house looks. Uh, let us start from here. So guys, right here, this is where we cook from. Bye bye, bye mama. This is where we cook from, guys. You put firewood like this. Yeah. Then you start cooking. Yeah, this is how we do it. And over here, this is uh, chicken utensils yeah, rank. Uh, when you watch utensils, you just put them here. You see how this side looks? Uh, then we go to the bathroom. It is over here. Yeah, guys, this is the bathroom. I put the basin here, even the soap right here. Then you start showering like this. Then you hang the the clothes, the knickers, panties from here. Yeah, this is how our African traditional bathroom looks like. You see, even the floor, we just put the stones. Even when you want, you can sit here. Then you start showering. I put the basin here. Then you start showering. Ah, uh, by the way, we hang the wow. sponge here. You see, this is our African traditional sponge. So now let's go to the house. Over here, this is a curtain, and uh, then this is the door. Yeah, let me show you how we cross. Uh, you, you see this thread, guys. When you cross, uh, we don't use here, we don't use padlocks, you just close like this. Then you tie it here. Mm -hmm. Then you tie it here, like this. We don't have padlocks. Uh, Mm-hmm. 
this is how we close our african traditional houses guys we don't have padlocks and then when you come you open uh, like this very simple uh, uh, here then we enter the house uh, the house has the ceiling uh, the ceiling is designed with boxes you know these parking boxes so they use the boxes to make the ceiling here in the village yeah this is how the house looks up yeah hope you are seeing it very well this is how it is designed so even in our village we design we have the ceilings in the grass thatched houses uh, guys right here <laughs> actually have ceilings uh, this one is made out of papers guys yeah these are boxes you know these parking boxes uh we do even seal our traditional houses that is a ceiling yeah let me show you the design yeah uh, the design is out of papers look at these ones we do them ourselves it is mariam who did them yeah i'm in mariam's house she allowed me to show you the tour around the house so this is how mariam does it yeah you see how they hang clothes yeah we hang them on the on the what on the nails those are nails so we hang the clothes like this you put them on the nails actually guys i have felt in love with the house look it is very nice I just hand crafts yeah actually this it is a grass thatched house yeah you see it is just one room but we divide it like that yeah the other one is the bedroom so we divide it into parts so that has been for today guys hope you felt in love with the house these houses have no ventilators and some have no windows those which have windows they are very small and they are wooden so they can't allow air in that's why during night they are very hot if you don't open the door just know the house is hot and if you want that fresh air you have to open the door during night so that's it or you have to open the windows but most of them they don't have windows until next video